I'm Joshua Bardwell. My cameras are rolling. Am I centered? I always end up uncentered. I don't know why. Hmm. See, because I do that. I do that. I want to look at the camera. But here is centered. I don't need to go over here. I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. Today, I am setting up a tiny whoop race course around my office because I got some whoop-sized drones to test, and I figure uh, don't just fly them outdoors. Fly them indoors and have some race gates to make you be precise and really see how they perform. So, I thought I would take the opportunity to show you guys some tiny whoop race gates that you could get. And the first ones we're going to look at are these, the newbie drone gates. They just come out and I, I just set this up real quick just to show you guys the unpackaging because they come in this nice case, the zipper case. They come out, they, they, oh, oh. <laughs> they fold up and then, <laughs> so you get the gist of it, right? That's it. That's they're very cost effective because they're just some of that material and then they fold up in there and they go wherever you need them to go. That's pretty cool. Then you attach them using, well, you can use Velcro. I've seen them use duct tape. And this for me is one place where these guys fall a little bit short is in the mounting. I've made a couple suggestions to Newbie Drone and I'm sure they have ideas of their own of how to improve the mounting. But yeah, when I when they brought them to uh, Quad Camp in California, uh, they just set them up using duct tape. So could do a little better there, but there you go. And they're pretty cost effective. I will show you guys, they have Velcro right here around the edges. So there's Velcro all around the edges. So it's not just like you got this Velcro and then you got to just, yeah, you stick it to the Velcro here. So they do, they do stick. Now here's the next one I want to show you. And this one is much, much more of a premium option, but you know, here it is. Let's take a look at it. These are the TBS LED micro racing gates and let's get one out here. These guys have LEDs on the inside. And you can plug them into a, oh, this is a 3S, you can plug them into a 4S LiPo. And they not only, hang on. There you go. Not only do they have LEDs, but they have color changing patterns and they come with a little, oh, a little remote here that lets you decide what you wanna do with them. Here's the, infrared receiver so we can set a fixed color oh there's the we can set a color we can set different patterns you know etc now one thing that's super nice they come with these mounting brackets of different types this one is a magnetic one and you can use it to mount to any magnetic surface i've mounted them to my fridge i've mounted them to the t-bar ceiling in my office it also comes with a clamp here that does a pretty decent job of clamping onto any clampable surface and there's some hanging hooks as well although i personally never use those okay the next gates i want to show you are the race day quads tiny whoop gates and in fact i had such high hopes for these gates that i have literally been sitting on this video for like two months while i waited for them to actually be released and come in the mail it has got these sort of tent pole style uh mm, poles style poles, right? Of course. <laughs> and then, yeah, I'm gonna guess that goes over that screw for tension, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Ta-da! Hmm. So, <clears throat> we definitely have to give this one to the newbie drone gates in terms of ease of setup. <laughs> Just the wing. This, uh, any of these gates that deal with poles like that are such a pain in the butt. You know, it's not the end of the world, but here's where the race day quads ones come ahead though, in the mounting options. So you can get these weighted metal bases, which just set down on anything. You can get these, which are magnetic, bases, which allow it to stick to anything metal, including dropped ceiling tiles like I've got here in my office. You can get these, obviously these are suction cups, and you can get these, which are stakes that let it go in the ground. And ever since I saw the newbie drone gates, I was like, these are great guys, but if the only mounting option you're going to offer is basically like a, a clamp and Velcro, that's going to leave a lot of people 
without a lot of great options. So kudos to Race Day Quads. They have completely just cleaned up here. Where you, there's just so many different ways you can mount these. It's really good. Let's try it. Looking at the gate setup here, we can see a big difference between the Newbie Drone and the TBS gates. The Newbie Drone gates are much bigger. You're going to have a lot easier time getting through them as a beginner. The TBS gates are much more impressive because of their light up LED nature, especially if we were to turn the lights out here. Of course, the Newbie Drone gates wouldn't even be able to be seen, really. The Newbie Drone gates are able to be mounted pretty much anywhere. You see I've stuck them here. Uh, just anywhere you can put that little piece of Velcro and sticks on. Whereas the TBS gates I've got hanging from the magnetic bracket, but of course they'll only go somewhere there's a magnet. Of course the TBS gates also have the clips and other methods of mounting them. On the flip side, the Newbie Drone gates would be a little bit harder to mount well, obviously hanging them from the ceiling is like the best case scenario because they just hang from the Velcro. Let's see if we can get one to mount sideways, like on a pole. Yeah, you can definitely see the problem here. It's stuck on using this piece of Velcro here. We can't get it to stick using the corner because the corner won't touch. But sticking it on like that, it kind of just, yeah, it really needs two points of contact to, to stay. Now if you've got something like a pole like this, it is pretty easy to mount the Newbie Drone ones because you now have two points of contact at the top and the bottom and that keeps it from flopping around. So that's not too bad. So here's a Newbie Drone gate hung right in front of a Race Day Quads gate. Not only so you can get a sense of the, the size difference between them, and there's a pretty substantial size difference, but also so you can see there's the difference in how they hang relative to whatever it is that you're mounting them on. The Newbie Drone gate is 16 inch opening. The Race Day Quads gate is 24 inch opening. Which of those you prefer is going to depend on what kind of whoop pilot you are, but a lot of people, uh, I think the standard, the quote unquote standard size for a whoop gate is 19 inch opening. So a lot of people are going to feel that the 24 inch is a little bigger than they want. And certainly if you're carrying these guys around, I don't know if you got a truck or a van or a car with a big trunk. You'll just throw those race day quads in there and not even disassemble them. But it's, there's a lot to be said for the portability of the Newbie Drone gates, especially because they fold down to half again that size. So a little bit of something for everyone here. How about we close out this review with some flight footage so you can see what these gates look like in the camera of, well, in this case, it's the Emacs Tiny Hawk. Uh, there's no doubt that the TBS LED gates look amazing, uh, but the downside for the gates is, number one, they are the smallest, which that's, if you're not an excellent pilot, they can be a little challenging to hit, especially at speed. Uh, and the other thing is that they're expensive. It's about 75 bucks for a set of four, um, which you can definitely make your own LED gates way cheaper than that from rope light, but it is nice being able to easily change the colors with a remote and so forth. The Newbie Drone gates are big enough to fly through at speed and make you feel like you know what you're doing. They are really inexpensive at a price of only about 10 bucks a piece, and they are really easy to fold up and transport and isn't portability part of the, what makes a whoop so fun. But they are, they're, they have really got to work on their mounting options. The Velcro mounting is just not the best. The Race Day Quads gates are not that much more expensive, coming in at about 15 bucks, and are way more versatile in how they're mounted. But the downside of the Race Day Quads gates for me is their size. They don't pack up as easily. You gotta hassle with tent poles as opposed to just folding them up. And uh, they are a little bit larger. If you decide not to take them down, they're gonna be a little bit larger to just put in the trunk of your car or something. You couldn't easily put a Race Day Quad gate in a backpack, not without fully disassembling it. And that's gonna take a little bit more time. So of these, for me, I think the Race Day Quad gates are the winner um, just because of the versatility of mounting. But if you're trying to do a really tight, really like tiny whoop brush, tiny whoop course in a house, the TBS gates are going to be really fun. The small size will be an advantage there, not a disadvantage. And uh, the light up, of course, is is wonderful. But you you got to think, man, you could make your own light up gate for way cheaper than 75 bucks for a set of four. How much cheaper? I don't know. What's it cost to make like a light up tiny whoop gate out of uh, out of LED, you know, rope light or something? Let me know down in the comments.
Links to all of this stuff is down in the video description and it means a lot to me when you use them. Some of them are affiliate links and that's one of the ways you can support me at this, which as you may have heard is my full-time job. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's gonna do it for this review. Happy flying.